back. Welcome to my video series about do-it-yourself hand railing. So if you've watched any of the last few videos, you've seen how we've cut everything we need, set it up, and got it all welded out. So when it comes time to finishing your iron railings, you've actually got several options. You could get them powder coated, but we're going to paint these. In fact, I'm setting up right next door. Come on, I'll show you what we're up to. So let's get these on over there and get them hung up. Alright, so we're getting set up over here in this temporary paint booth to get these things sprayed. And I want to introduce you to a good friend of mine. This is Mike Rogers with m &R Painting. He's a professional painting contractor here in Colorado Springs. You guys paint all kinds of stuff, don't you, Mike? Oh yeah, from bridges on down to staining sticks. Pretty much anything in between. So how are we going to shoot these today? Well, first thing you got to do is clean them because of the oil on the steel. Clean them with lacquer, TSP. Something like that. Today we'll be using this HVLP industrial sprayer to spray on this direct to metal acrylic based paint. Holds the sheen better than most oil based paints. And if you don't have access to one of these, of course you can always use a standard gravity feed spray gun. Like this. Well let's get after it. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Oh nope. good. <laughs> so we're just going to take a minute and shoot these things with this TSP one more time and wipe them down real good. Now, I know we've already done this once, but this will assure we get all the grease and grime off these. Good work. <laughs> They're ready. <laughs> yeah, Mike said he tuned that gun in for me, but I think I'll just let him paint them while he's at it. All right, now it's my turn. when you got friends like Mike Rogers from m &R Painting who let you borrow their painting equipment and paint booth. Be sure to keep them in mind if you got any kind of painting needs here in Colorado Springs or anywhere along the front range in Colorado. Well, that's going to about do it for the first coat. We'll let this dry. Come on back here in a little bit and do it all over again. Yep, we've had plenty of time to dry. Let's do that second coat. So I think you get the idea how this works. I appreciate you watching this video, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to click subscribe right here. Come on back next time. We'll get these iron railings installed. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LawFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.